Hi, this is Halftime with Rick Ebner. Welcome to my channel. Um, this is my very first YouTube spot, and so I'm a little nervous, but I'm excited about this. Uh, if you like what you see, follow us. If you don't like what you see, follow us. My vision is to be the best encourager I can be to all you guys out there. And I know I'm a role model. I've got four children, and I've got to be a role model to them as well, too, as I handle my uh, journey with multiple sclerosis. Um, my background, a little bit about myself, um, very competitive. As a youngster, I started working out, you may not believe this, but when I was about six years old, and I started running. And I just had this competitive nature within me that I wanted to improve. And I uh, started doing running a mile every day, doing pull-ups, push-ups, and then I got involved in sports. And it was the strangest thing because I was involved in every sport that was available. And I loved it. I just had a passion. But I had in the back of my mind a strange feeling. What if this was all taken away from me? And this was at a very early age. Maybe I was in junior high. Um, but now, you know, fast forward 37 years later, and, and I'm in the chair. And things have been taken away from me. But um, you know what? Like I said, life is tough. And we have to make adjustments during these times when things are happening to us. Everyone's dealing with something sooner or later in life. And um, it's how we handle these things. You know, we're going to get um, labeled things. And, and how are you going to respond to that? Are you going to react negatively like bad medication and be upset and be cynical and be upset with everyone or are you gonna are you gonna respond positively like good medication and you're gonna be have a positive outlook on this and look for the good and know that you're a role model to other people and um, just keep on plugging away and you just take it day by day um, this is a journey and it's not a race and we need to have plans we need to have goals even in our conditions of chronic illness like multiple sclerosis uh, I've been on disability since I was 44 so tell me about why you started the channel the reason why I started this channel was to help other people I want to be the best encourager there is out there why I started this channel was there's there's a lot of downtime a lot of hurts that uh, people may see the physical issues of me being in a power chair or other people with uh, wheelchairs whatever it may be but the inside part the emotional part that that hurts um, that can hurt and uh, I had an example that happened to me a couple weeks ago and it was uh, a get-together with a group of my high school buddies that uh, I found out um, we're getting together to go out on the lake and spend the time together, spend time together. And, and I wasn't invited. And um, I kind of found out about this in a weird way, but I found out about it and I was hurt. And uh, I was very emotional and I got so down on myself. I, I didn't know if it was because I upset someone or if it's because I'm in a chair, but you know, I isolated myself when, I, when this first happened and we can be our own worst enemy. But I decided, you know what, I've got to reach back out and let these guys know that what happened and uh, how we can correct this. So I actually called my buddy back and said, Randy, Randy, uh, next time you guys do something, even though you know that I can't make it, I would love just to be thought of or be called and just say, hey, Rick, we're thinking about you, but we know that you can't do this. That would mean the world to me. So I really feel I addressed what the issue was, being ignored. And um, I felt much better about that. And that way, my friends can make changes as well, too. Um, not only me. Short-term goals, you can have those every day. It could be, you know, for me, 
I've got a goal, this is silly, and don't laugh at me, but I watch the Wheel of Fortune at 6.30 every day. I yell out to Lisa, Wheel, and she says, Up, and I say, Fortune. That's just a small little stupid goal, but it's fun. It's something I look forward to at 6.30 every day. Um, I have other goals. I go to the Courage Center. I work out as much as I can. And we need these little goals, easy ones, fun ones, things that you know that you can accomplish. But, you know, <laughs> life is heavy and we need these good moments in our lives to keep us positive, keep us going. When I was first diagnosed, I remember I had to give a presentation. Well, I wanted to give a presentation to the Minneapolis, Minnesota chapter MS Society. And I brought my three-year-old and my one-year-old daughter, Sam and Alex, up with me as I spoke. And my goal at that time, and at that time, I wasn't using a cane, I was walking. I said, my goal was to walk my two girls down the aisle when they get married. Well, my daughters are now 27 and 25, and, and I'm in a chair. So things have changed. So I need to make adjustments to what my goal was initially. Now I, I'm thinking, you know what, I'm gonna be the best looking guy in a power wheelchair walking down this beautiful bride. So you know what, it it's all comes from within. We have to adjust our attitudes. And we have to have humor with this as well too. We have to have fun. You know, life is so darn tough and it's so nasty out there. We have to have fun.